Welcome back everybody, I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is an absolutely beautiful day today and we're on the Nice Girl subreddit. I don't even know why, but I just randomly wanted to make a Nice Girl video today. So yeah, here we are. <laughs> As always, I hope you have a wonderful time. Wait, you guys have girlfriends? You might have one if you drop girlfriend imaginary standards a bit. Not all girls are like what some guys want. Look past the popular ones and see the ones that are just like you. Whatever personality and looks you may have. So, do you know each other? Because they assumed a lot about you just then. Oh, well maybe you might have one if you drop your girlfriend imaginary standards. Surely that's not something you say to somebody that you don't know. Right? But I get the feeling it is somebody that they don't know. Nice guys do that all the time as well. Like it'll be women they don't know, it'll be women's boyfriends they don't know, and they'll just assume that they're bad people and they're doing something wrong even though they don't know them. Because at the end there, they said whatever personality and looks you may have. So they don't know your personality and they don't know what you look like. So yeah, they're just saying it to a random person. Yeah, I don't know, that doesn't seem very nice. Guys don't want girls with strict parents. They want hoes that can do whatever they want. I wasn't raised like that, so... So what? So the reason that guys don't like them is because they have strict parents? Nah. <laughs> what about everybody else with strict parents? Oh no, no, they're all single. If you have strict parents, you literally can't be in a relationship. Well, like I suppose you can't if they're that strict, but you can't blame these issues on the fact that you have strict parents. That's probably Probably not it. I've always been curious about this dynamic. I'm the stereotypical nice girl and I was always so perplexed when really nice guys got with women that were pretty and fun, but shallow and selfish and unempathetic. But I suppose we can all have our blinders on. I'm so confused. Is it like a humble brag or is it the opposite of a humble brag? Because on one hand it feels like, oh, you know, I'm a nice person unlike everybody else that's shallow and selfish and unempathetic. But on the other hand, they're kind of burning themselves, so I don't know. I wish I could have pretty princess energy, but my dad didn't raise a little girl. He raised a mini him. I cuss like a sailor and I have a smart mouth. If you won't do it for me, I'll do it myself. And if you piss me off, good luck, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this one is so much nice girly as much as it's not like the other girlsy. What the hell did I just say? <laughs> But yeah, it seems like I'm not like the other girls. I'm a mini my dad and I swear a lot. And if you piss me off, I'm gonna be very mad. Like, wait a second, you learnt lessons from your parents and you picked up some of their traits? No. <laughs> you mean like everyone? <laughs> so I have a very high position in my company in senior management, but for some reason, I'm completely invisible to the men at work. At first, I thought they were intimidated by me, so I decided to engage, but when I did, I didn't see intimidation in their eyes, but just complete indifference. So then I figured that men are just reticent now because of the Me Too movement, but then I noticed that they're all knocking themselves out trying to talk to the cleaning lady. The cleaning lady, she barely even speaks English. Wow, are you joking? This has really been getting to me, to the point where that the last few times I've seen it, I've had to stop myself from going over to them and saying something like, you do realize she's a cleaning lady? and I'm senior management, right? Yeah, because what? That would help? And this is why I say men are backwards. I know if I had a choice between a senior manager and the custodian, it's a no-brainer who I'd pick. So I have to know, is this a universal phenomenon? Or is it just the guys at my company who are backwards? Oh my god. That's unbelievable. They're so hung up on the fact that they're a senior manager. And that bit where they said, oh, they're the cleaning lady. She barely even speaks English. You do realize that she's a cleaning lady and I'm senior management, right? If you said something like that, you would look like the biggest a-hole of all time. So what, like these people just have to like you? Do you treat them well? Are you a good senior manager? Because I don't think I'm reading this wrong, but it seems like they treat them like they're a lot less than them. Like I'm up here in senior management, but you're way down here as a human being. And the cleaning lady that barely knows 
knows English. Oh, she's way down here. Yeah, that was unbelievable. When I send the breakup text hoping that he'll fight for me and he just says, okay. Wow. <laughs> I want to be sensitive to this one because I understand that it's sad, but I feel like you shouldn't have to fight for somebody to want to be with you. The top comment says, have you considered that maybe you're not worth the fight? And then also like this other comment says, yeah, I told my ex-girlfriend that my mentality is why would I want to be with someone who doesn't want to be with me? You want to break up? Okay, imagine her Pikachu face when we broke up and I didn't fight for her, especially after all of her mental and emotional abuse. Yeah, I feel bad because it's sad, but it's so childish to do stuff like this. I think my female 28 friends, male 28's girlfriend, female 25 is abusive. I have a friend Mark who I've known for about 5 or 6 years now. We are pretty close and we chat often and we work in the same company and building in different departments. About a year ago or so, he met Laura on a dating app. They talked for a while through text because they were unable to meet up in person for a bit due to some reasons. To be honest, I thought Laura was playing him at first. Wait, so how do you know all of this? During their talking stage before meeting up, I would ask Mark about Laura often and he would just say things were good and that she was great. He always had a lot to say about her. One day he shared after some coaxing that he was afraid about Laura's reaction to his physical appearance because she hadn't asked his height like most girls did and he didn't want to have her ghost him when she found out. For reference, Mark is 5'6 or 5'7ish. He said that in her photos Laura looked tall and he was anxious that she was going to leave him over the height difference. I calmed him down and I made a joke about how he'd always have me to make him feel bigger and taller and that I'd be here if he wanted to make a girl feel tiny. I'm 5'1 and very thin and petite. Fast forward a few weeks and I see that he posted a photo with Laura on Instagram. They were at some fancy restaurant somewhere and I texted him to ask him how his date went but he didn't reply until the morning to say that it was good. I asked about the height thing and he said it was fine so I said I was glad. Oh no, I feel like we've read this one before. Have we read this before? It sounds so familiar but also kind of not. I'm sorry if we have read this before. I'm not 100%. I met Laura about two months ago or so at a friend's birthday party that Mark was at. When I saw her, I was a little put off because she was a bit taller than Mark, maybe 5'8", 5'9", if I had to guess, and was wearing shoes with a bit of a heel so he looked extra short next to her. This annoyed me a bit as Mark was anxious about the height difference and she just wore heels to tower over him anyway. I thought that was rather rude. Ever since, I've noticed some things about it that I believe are red flags, but I don't know how to tell Mark. You don't tell Mark. It's not your relationship. One, she seems too controlling. One time I asked Mark to come to a mutual friend's dinner party with me and let's call her Clara. Mark said that he didn't want to go because Clara had made an offensive comment towards Laura and Laura didn't like Clara anymore. This seems weird to me and I think Mark can pick who he likes and doesn't like for himself. Also, the comment was not that bad and I don't think Clara meant to be offensive. And two, Mark has become secretive now that he's dating her. Yeah, almost like it's their relationship and not yours. Oh my god. And it makes me think there's something he's too scared to tell me. I ask about how things are going and he's very dismissive. I once made a joke to him and he got very weird and short with me and didn't talk to me for a few days, which had never happened before. Mark has changed his appearance to match Laura's likes. For example, he's never had facial hair ever and now does. He had a full beard for a while and now he just has a mustache. I asked him about it once because I thought the mustache made him look like a you know what and he said Laura really likes his facial hair and thought it was hot and he again got short with me. I think it's weird to change yourself to match someone else's expectations. Isn't that like a sign of abuse? Oh my god. And four, Mark does anything that Laura says pretty much all the time. Mark used to hate superhero movies and we used to make fun of them and now he's always going to watch the new Marvel movies with her because she's obsessed with all things Marvel. I know for a fact that he doesn't like superhero movies and he's just doing it because she says so. I don't think this is right. They're going to the movies because Laura likes them and he obviously cares about Laura. There have been a few other small and random issues that I've noticed but I don't want to make this too long. So 
how can I bring this up to Mark? Don't. <laughs> Where do I start? How do you let someone know that they're being abused? Oh my god. I know he'll deny it, so I'm looking for advice on how to approach this. I'm genuinely lost for words. I don't know what we just read. Yeah, and on that note, guys, I feel like it's about time we read something wholesome. That's definitely enough of this subreddit for today. My dad once wrote a note to us and put it in a drawer. The note said, if you're scared to tell me something, just bring this note as a reminder that I'm here to support you. I won't get mad. I'll work with you on a solution. Best way to keep your kids talking to you. Wow, that's so cute. I love that. Oh, wholesome parenting moment. Oh, nuts. I died. Oh, sweet. My Game Boy died too. And the ghost is happily playing their Game Boy, which is 100% a sentence I never thought I'd say. It looks like they're having so much fun. I'm a happy ghost because I have my ghost Game Boy. That's so beautiful. Do you want to hear about my day? Me? Yes, 100%. Tell me absolutely everything. Yeah, there's something really nice about being listened to, as stupid as that sounds. When you're laying in bed and you try to get the blankets out from under the dog. Yeah, well, I can't relate to this with a dog, but I can relate to it with Nez. When little lady Nez is sleeping on me in the night, she is so unbelievably heavy. It's so funny. And you just wake up and there's a whole bunch of weight on you for some reason. It's so cute. And yeah, on that beautiful night, thank you again for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. And yeah, if you did have a wonderful time, make sure you like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. And the comment of the day goes to Sailor Sally Rock and Rarity. When Vincey says, and you know what I'm about to say because I say it every single day. Bye! I say it with him. That's so funny. And I'm literally about to say that. We're all just saying it at the same time. It's going to make this really hard to say. <laughs> but yeah, as always, thank you for watching. It means so much to me. And as always, make sure you have a beautiful, amazing rest of your day. And you know what I'm about to say because I say it every single day. Bye! Bye! <laughs>